I will focus uh, in a few updates that we got from ASCO meeting regarding bladder cancer. Uh, I will briefly mention that we saw very interesting data regarding quality of life and patient report outcomes from Dr. Silpa Gupta uh, from the EV302 trial where uh, we had the comparison between pembrolizumab and fortumavidotin versus platinum-based chemotherapy. As we know, this trial showed a dramatic improvement in progression-free and overall survival with pembrolizumab plus and fortumab compared to platinum-based chemotherapy as a frontline setting in advanced urothelial carcinoma. And Dr. Gupta showed that this significant improvement in survival came without detriment in quality of life. The patient report outcomes, uh, uh, if so, some, some improvement in pain uh, with EV Pembro, uh, which makes sense. Uh, if you control the disease better with higher response rate that you get with Pembro EV and, and more, or more durable responses, you may get uh, better symptomatic control, what we call palliative benefit. Uh, and that may translate to improvement in pain score and also uh, in function and quality of life. So the data uh, are not surprising. Of course, we all have to be very cautious about toxicity uh, with any regimen, including Pembro EV. And of course, doing those adjustments as needed. On that note, we saw a separate abstract that was very interesting and relevant by Dr. Dan Petrilak, looking at the exposure to enformavidotin uh, with a response uh, and outcomes with enformavidotin monotherapy from the EV monotherapy trials. Uh, and this, I think, is very interesting. Uh, Dr. Petrilak showed that the initial dose. 1.25 milligrams per kilogram seems to be the right one and it was associated with higher response rate. However, subsequent dose adjustments, reduction, delays, and and and, and uh, modifications as needed for toxicity are okay and seem to not impact negatively outcomes. So I think provides reassurance that, that um, uh, many of us are dose adjusting in form of a uh, in order to maintain uh, people on therapy uh, without significant toxicity, or at least adjust and mitigate those toxicities uh, based on dose adjustment. So this is very interesting data by Dr. Petri. Like again, the, the dose exposure without response outcomes in even monotherapy trials are uh, helpful, I think, in, in terms of uh, reassuring this uh, practice of dose adjustments as needed for in form of a we also saw some interesting data from the Checkmate 901 trial. Dr. Galski uh, showed uh, characteristics of patients who achieved complete response uh, with Gemsys nivolumab versus Gemsys as a frontline treatment in advanced urothelial carcinoma. As I mentioned, this is a Checkmate 901 trial. And I think the take home message from that trial was that Gemsys nivo, uh, nivo given concurrently with Gemsys and then continuation nivo up to two years, unless there was progression or unacceptable toxicity, that uh, uh, Gemsys nivo combination achieved a higher response rate overall. Uh, it was, uh, uh, I think, 57% with Gemsys nivo versus 44% uh, with uh, Gemsys. Uh, and uh, that trial saw the a statistically significant uh, progression of overall survival benefit with Gemsys Nevo versus Gemsys in cisplatin eligible patients. I think the data are very relevant to practice, especially uh, outside US, uh, where Pembro EV is not available for now outside US. I know in the US uh, there is an overshadowing effect of Pembro EV um, uh, as the preferred regimen for the vast majority of patients. It seems like in these uh, uh, patients with complete response, uh, many of them had lymph node only disease, uh, and, and we know that lymph node only disease is a positive prognostic factor compared to visceral metastasis, bone metastasis. So it's not surprising that patients with uh, a lymph node only disease do better overall, regardless of regimen we use. Uh, but definitely the, the response rates uh, were impressive, both in terms of overall response rate and complete response rate with lymph node only disease. I think uh, we saw some interesting response rate uh, uh, around 80% or so with Gemsys Nevo with lymph node only disease and uh, about 63% um, uh, uh, complete response rate uh, with Gemsys Nevo and lymph node only disease. So, uh, so interesting to see that the median duration of complete response uh, in that trial with Gemsys Nevo was 37 months. So there seems to be a tail of the curve. There are some a proportion of patients who do very well long term. And it seems to be that this population of long term responders is enriched with patients with lymph node only disease not surprising. And if you look at the entire trial, approximately 18%, 1-8% of patients 
enrolled in that study had left not only disease, of course, the majority had visceral and or bone metastasis. Mm -hmm.